Welcome back, Tater Tots, to the channel for another episode of the Solar System Legacy Challenge, episode 87. Whew, we have come such a long way, like, honestly. So we are here this Monday morning with our boys, just watching them chat and catch up with each other. I was looking at Vance's relationships, and I was noticing he's pretty good friends with his brother, Victor. He's slowly becoming better friends with Vincent, but he just doesn't seem to get along with Vale very well. He also needs to talk with his father more. But then also, guys, check this out. So I tried to have Vincent become friends with Vale, and instead they start becoming enemies. So they just, like, do not get along at all, which I thought was very interesting. So I have played for about a week and a half off camera in the sim time. And don't worry, of course, I still followed all the rules as need be. And so, yeah, now today is officially, that's right, guys, Maria's birthday. Oh, my gosh. I am so excited for her. It's, oh, she's going to be an elder. Can you believe it? And during the time off camera, I wanted to show you guys, I spent time doing photo shoots with the kids. So, look how cute they are. We have all four of her boys. We've got Vance and Victor. Looking fine. I love this outfit on Vance. He looks so good. And Victor, oh, he's like a little K-pop idol wannabe. And then you've got Vincent down here looking so cute and sporty. And then Vale. Oh, gosh, they're so cute. I love her kids. And then, of course, Maria and Daryl. And then we took some more family photos here, as you can see. So you got Maria and Daryl up here at a picnic that they had at the family, Vance and Victor. And there's Vincent crashing it in the background. And then, of course, we've got Vincent and Vale right there. Of course, he was breaking out terribly. But, yeah, so we've got some family photos. But I just am obsessed with these four here. Like, they are adorable. And Maria couldn't be happier to have these pictures of her boys, like, honestly. Oh, and it looks like the boys have already headed off to school, which is fantastic. So we're going to just have them do their thing. And let's see, what is Daryl doing? He is bored. He's curious about clubs. He wants to woohoo with his boo for her birthday, which I think is great. Does she have work today? She does. But we're going to have Maria take the day off because, um, duh, why not? So she's going to take a vacation day. And then we're also going to have Daryl take a vacation day as well. And Maria, she is wanting to kiss Daryl. So it looks like they want to spend some time together, which is so cute. And oh, my notification wall is full. So let me uh, take care of that for a second there. I forgot where my notifications were. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, so let's check on Maria. What are her stats? She is in a pretty good mood. So is Daryl. So with that being the case, I think we should come up here and we should go ahead and woohoo with our boo. So let's, uh, we're not going to try for a baby. No, we just want to woohoo. So let's get Daryl up here. And they are always turning on Vance's radio thing or his iPod. So, yeah, let's turn that off so it's nice and quiet. Got our little frog guy over here. And let's see, where's Daryl? Daryl, get in here. Like, why is he not coming in here to woohoo with his boo? Like, that's what I, that's what I want him to do. He needs to woohoo. Let's just woohoo in the shower. That one seems to always work for whatever reason. So, where is Daryl? Daryl, it's your girl's birthday, and who is this? She's kind of cute. Oh, interesting fashion style, but it's really not that bad. So who is this? This is Hina Okamoto, and she's a young adult, and whew, we got to pay our bills, that's for sure. So, oh, they are going to go ahead and woohoo and STD score. ST, oh, SDT. <laughs> I said STD. <laughs> <laughs> okay, SDT scores. Wow, that's like way too close. They should change that. Like do ADT scores or something <laughs> or SBT, something. I don't know. Vincent just got the results from his SDT. 
DT, Success Determination Test, his scores aren't quite as high as he'd hoped they'd be. Should he sign up for the retake test or just be happy with what he has? I feel like he would retake it. Vincent tries pretty hard. All high achievers take the test at least twice, some five or six times. Vincent is confident he'll get the results he wants eventually. So what a little motivated guy. He is just doing awesome. And we're going to make sure Daryl woohoos with his boo. And then we'll have him come down here and whew, pay those expensive bills. But yeah, we're going to have him just spend the day with her. They need to relax and enjoy some time. Just the two of them alone in the quiet of the house. Shh, let's enjoy this. Oh, they're so happy and cute. Like I have... I have seriously enjoyed watching the two of them and how they have just grown. They've grown so much in their relationship. And oh, she is going to cook. So, oh, she is feeling steamy. And Daryl, whoo, don't break your back. Don't throw your ba back out. I'm trying to make sweet love to your boo. Okay, what is she wanting to do? Cook eggs and toast, clean and satisfied. But I don't want her to just make one thing. Like, I hate when they do that. Like, make food for your husband, too. Like, <laughs> at least do something. So we'll just do a serving of eggs and toast. That way they both get something. And then we'll make sure, of course, that she, um, that she kisses him. And Daryl, are you coming to the mailbox in a towel? I have a feeling he's coming out to the mailbox in a towel. <laughs> Unless he's stuck. He seems to get stuck after woohooing for some reason. And I'm not quite sure why. So we'll just reset him real quick. There we go. Okay. Come out here and let's pay the bills. And we'll get the mail. See if there's anything of note. But there probably isn't most likely. Oh, and Maria, she's just so happy. She loves being in the kitchen. She's a fantastic little cook. She's just doing so well for herself, honestly. Sprinkle a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, nice catch, girl. Nice catch. Uh, she's trying to make sure it's up to perfection for her man. And, yep, there we go. We've paid the bills. And let's see, did he get anything in the mail? Probably not. Doesn't look like it. But, okay, so he wants to all join cooking, which is cute. Even though she's about to be finished, literally. So they're just having a late brunch or lunch, whatever you want to call it. Look at those little eggs. Perfection every time, girl. But you're, now you're just splattering everything. <laughs> All right, there we go. They've got some food. And Daryl can come over and grab something to eat. Yeah, he's going to grab a serving. There we go. Wonder what I should eat today. Well, Vale, figure that out while you're at school. <laughs> But look at them eating their meal together after a nice woohoo session. She's having such a great relaxing birthday. After all, it is a Monday. So, you know, nothing mysterious weather. Today's forecast. <laughs> okay. I don't know why it's mysterious, but, you know, we're just going to go with it. And this is so beautiful. Are you talking about your girl, the food, or the pictures? I don't know. But he's talking about something. But look at them. Oh, girl. We got to we gotta clean your teeth. They're pretty yellow looking. Oh, gross. Daryl, how do your teeth look? Do we need to brush? Do we need to brush? Yeah, it looks like everybody needs to brush. So we'll take care of that here in just a second. But I want her to come over here and kiss her man. So kiss him. Come on, girl. We don't fulfill this one need. No, we're not going to take this other job. Maria is literally going to be an elder. Like, she does not want to take another job. She'll be retiring soon anyways. There we go. Yes. Okay, let's get them both. Ooh, gross. Okay, Maria, first let's clean this. Daryl, you can come in here and brush your teeth so that they get squeaky clean. And let's see, he's wanting to just be friendly with Maria. And what does she have flirt with Daryl? Make a friend. Paint on an easel at the museum. Well, we're not going to go to the museum. That just sounds way far out of the way. But uh, let's get these nasty mouths clean. 
And this nasty sink, of course. Like, that's just disgusting. All right. So he is feeling pretty good. So he needs to use the bathroom. But other than that, he's in a great mood. And Maria, she also needs to take a bath. So we're going to have her take a bath with, mm, let's do a citrus soak. Something bright. That'll give her energy and a boost for the day. Get her brush those nasty teeth. Then we'll have her use the bathroom and while she is doing that we're gonna have Daryl come in here to make her a cake so let's check out what we've got here bake let's see for Maria there's the honey cake the black and white cake white and black what is the difference black oh I see the colors are just inverted I gotcha okay minty mocha cupcake mm, I love mint cupcakes that sounds so good <laughs> okay coconut cake strawberry cake we're just gonna do her blue confetti cake because you know mercury and blue so we're just gonna go with it so he's gonna be a sweetheart to his little boo while she's taking her soak with all the little cute citrus things like oh my gosh that makes me want to take a bath soak with a bunch of fancy things in it but you know then that requires me to like go fill up a bathtub <laughs> <laughs> and to cut up a bunch of fruits and number one I don't have a bunch of fruits number two mm, filling at the bathtub takes a long time <laughs> and number three mm, I'm just lazy <laughs> so no and look at Daryl he's just having a good time oh he loves cooking so cute and there's little Maria's face oh she's put a face mask on Oh, and oh, what's going on with him? Skin redness. Oh, no. And sweltering. Who left the heat on? It's like, oh, it's really hot today. That's so strange. Interesting. I feel like, I don't know why it's so hot today. Like, man, what strange weather. It was literally just snowing the other day when I was playing off camera. Like, it started to snow for the first time. And now it's like sweltering hot. But let's see. And he is oh, embarrassed. He's got dark spots, a breakout. And Vincent, he's always doing pretty well. He's really focused. And yes, he thinks it's sweltering and getting things done. So oh, it looks like Vale's skin has finally cleared up, which is awesome. Okay, we're going to have him go ahead and add birthday candles to this. And the boys will be home from school in literally just like 30 minutes here. So we're going to go ahead and just like wait for them to get here. What's Maria doing? She just used the bathroom. She did. So we are good there. And let's see. Is there anything else that we want to do? Nah, Maria's not too worried about it. Let's take one last look at our girl. Look at her. Oh, she is beautiful. And we're about to see her change into a full on elder, guys. Can you believe it? Like, think about that, guys. Like, how far we have come with her. Cloud gaze with Medea. Oh, they are so cute. Seriously. So, we're going to have her go here. And we'll have Daryl go here. When the boys get home, we'll have them come in and sit. So that way they're here with their their mother while she blows out her candles. Oh, sure, Victor. Oh, man, everybody's bringing people over from class. And then we'll just have Vale walk over here. So, okay. So it looks like everybody has come home with a school project. Here we go, guys. Medea is going to come and make a wish while her family is here. Oh, they're so excited. Look at little Maria. Oh, I love this. Let me take a picture, of course. Oh, the last few moments of Maria's youth and her adulthood. Oh, beautiful Maria. We love you. You're still gorgeous, girl. Don't you think twice about that. Okay, here she goes. Ah, oh, Maria. Oh my gosh. We finally have made it this far. I cannot believe this. Time is just flying. Maria aged up. All right, there she is. Oh, look at her little gray hair. She's so cute. We'll probably have to dress her in some more granny like clothes here. But oh, look at them. 
Oh, oh they're so cute. Oh, I can't handle it. She's going to get herself. Oh, she's loading the dishwasher. And Daryl's hair changed back again from silver. Like, I just can't win, guys. I just can't win. We're going to have her come over here and profess her undying love to her man. And then we're just going to flatter him. Oh, Maria. And let's see. We want to embrace him. He's like, babe, you are beautiful. You are still just as stunning as you were before. But, uh, look at them. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I just, oh, I can't get enough of these two. Seriously. Okay, maybe we'll have them come and sit and chat here. Oh, and then we can have Daryl make a move on his boo. So let's see, romance. Let's see, what have we got? Flirt. And whisper sweet nothings. Aww, they're so cute. Look at them. Look at her smile. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, sorry guys, I know I'm like fawning over them, but uh, it is just adorable watching them grow old like this together. <sighs> but okay, I'm gonna go ahead into Cass and take care of Maria and get some of her clothes updated. And I am planning on doing a retirement party for them, of course. So I figured what we would do is that Wednesday we would go ahead and do the retirement party. Then Thursday we will have the Harvest Fest. Ah, yes, guys, Harvest Fest with the whole family and both the elders. It's going to be beautiful and, like, so sad at the same time because, guys, this will be the last Harvest Fest probably with Maria and Daryl because, honestly, by the time we get to the next one, they're probably going to have passed away, and that, like, breaks my heart, but it is what it is. So, yeah, guys, as I said at the beginning, this is episode 87, and so we're going to do episode 88. It's going to be our retirement party, and then 89 is the Harvest Fest, and then episode 90, ending right there on a nice even number, is going to be when Vance becomes an adult. So I'm going to play this bit off camera just so we can get there. And so, yes, guys, we only have three more episodes till the end of season one and the end of the Mercury generation. So I cannot believe it, guys, but we have finally made it this far. And so I'm so excited. But I feel like I'm old enough now that I should be allowed to go anywhere I want and do whatever I want. Can you treat me like an adult, please? They're like, we'll see what we can do because they spoil their kids. But okay, guys, let me get Maria into Cass. I have finished with Maria in Cass, and you can see this is what our girl looks like, looking professional and classy in her older age. I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up, and all my friends seem to have it figured out. How do I figure it out myself? Uh, pick something you like. That's what his mother would say. All right, and Maria is back to cleaning, but you can see she got herself a little haircut to be a little bit more stylish with her old age because she knows that having long hair, it gets a little bit more nappy as you age. So it looks like she's just going around and cleaning things, and her family is over here at the table, and oh boy, Vincent, you are exhausted. Victor is having issues with his acne, so we will go ahead and have him start a daily treatment to see if that will help him. And Vance, he is doing pretty good, honestly. And so I don't know what this girl is doing. Does she have like a tablet out or something? But look at him cleaning. What a good son. We're going to go ahead and put this in the fridge so it doesn't spoil and is he going to like eat? He should eat his eggs and toast. And Vincent did not eat anything. Daryl, is he doing good? Looks like everybody's pretty much doing good. But yeah, so guys, oh, we have had Maria age up. And man, guys, I swear, like this has been so rainy here in San Mishuno almost like every day. Like 
You see this? So rainy. And look at this. Look at this person. Ah, the rain! Oh, she got toasted. <gasps> it's Ruby! <gasps> Ruby girl! I feel like Ruby is like always watching. She's like, I know you're in there. I'm watching, Victor. I'm watching. So that's kind of creepy. She got struck by lightning just waiting outside their house like, okay, girl, let's like not be creepy at all. But okay. Well, anyways, like if you touch her, doesn't, don't you like get electrocuted too? I don't know. But that's your lesson for standing in the rain outside of someone's house like a creep or you weirdo. So anyways, we're going to come back in here to what Maria is doing. But anyways, guys, thank you so much, Tater Tots, for joining me. Um, look at him just in here playing the violin, giving his mother her own personal concert. So sweet. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this episode. We will be having a retirement party in the next one and then prepping for Harvest Fest. So once again, thank you, Tater Tots. You guys are the best and I am so excited we've gone on this journey together. So I will catch you next time. See ya!